<clears throat> okay. So, your knight in shining armor is actually a dick in tin foil. What to do about that? Hi, <laughs> my name is Barry Selby. Welcome to my daily broadcast. Um, by way of introduction, I am a best selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, and I help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And I do these talks every day called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart and at 5 p.m. Pacific time, by the way, which is why I think I'm getting more consistent and people are seeing me. And today's topic, um, well, today's number in the series is number 411. It's getting, 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 well, getting in hand, but certainly getting cumulative. And this one is aimed at the ladies, although some men may be able to get some tips out of this too. And the topic today is... Um, your your knight shining armor turned out to be a dick in tin foil. Let's talk. Um, I'm gonna say what to do, but I'm gonna say let's talk because I'm gonna probably pull in some of yesterday's talk, but I want to give you some other insights as well. Um, first of all, this whole thing about the knight shining armor, um, and in <laughs> in full disclosure, um, I did have a, a license plate on one of my one of my old cars. One of my previous cars, my I had a white Toyota Supra back in the late 80s, all decked out, and the license plate was White Knight. So I was a knight in shining armor, at least I thought so at the time. So I'm speaking from personal experience and also to inform and hopefully enlighten some of you out there going, is that what I want? Because this is the thing. And it's funny, I've got a. Uh, let me just sidebar for a second. I've been pulling off lots of interesting memes and jokes about love and relationships because after posting what I did yesterday, which are, which are tweets I'd found, and people still loving them, liking them, and getting lots of different comments and stuff on them, I thought I'd go digging for some more. So some of the ones I saw today are running through my head whilst I'm talking here. So just bear in mind, I've got a freeway going on this <laughs> side of ideas. But I want to keep on topic with this piece. But also to speak to a thing about good guys and bad um, Bad boys and good and good 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 men because there's, there's a duality and a, and a discord here because it's one of the things that is the issue at, at play. So, first of all, um, the knight in shining armor syndrome, the knight in shining armor um, experience for many people, for many people, is a um, actually let me back it up a second. For many women, since most women are looking for knights in shining armor, are misplacing their focus. The fact that your knight shining, shining armor turns out to be a dick in tinfoil is because your vision isn't possible. Because what you're really looking for is an illusion, a fantasy of a man that's going to come along and rescue and save you, when 90% of the time, you're not able to be saved. Now, before you, before you jump on me, let me respond to that. Let, let me clarify a bit more. The dance of relationship, the... Um, challenge of relationship is that some people feel, and I'm talking about people in general because men and women carry this, that when the other person shows up, they'll be whole, they'll be, fa they'll be saved, they'll be okay. And if you're, as a woman, feeling that this knight's going to shine arm is going to show up and save you, um, and before I get into this, I will give you some benefits at the end that will work for you, so stick with me, that the knight's shining arm is going to come along and save you, <coughs> but you haven't allowed yourself to be saved because the way you're thinking it's going to happen isn't going to happen. Because the idea of saving may be to come along and take you away from all this craziness, this madness, this life that you live. But it's your life. And you can make the choice of what you want to do with it. I'm watching how it's coming through, so bear with me for a second. This dance of relationship, this challenge of relationship, this um, opportunity to play together is one that can be based upon a mature perspective on having two partners who actually will get each other and understand each other. Now, I just mentioned there's a good stuff in here. Your knight in shining armor, if you choose to see him this way, and I'm using male and female intentionally this way, but it can work in gay relationships too, is one that can do things for you that you're either not able to do for yourself or not willing to do for yourself. And if you admit that truth and you let it open up to that space, then you can have a knight in shining armor save you from those tasks, efforts, focuses, things that you are unable to do yourself. That's healthy. 
But to have him carry you away on his stallion and all that sort of stuff, and I went through that game back in the years myself, so just to be aware, it sucks to be totally transparent for both parties. Because the illusion is just that. It's an illusion. It's not real. So yesterday I was talking about the... Um, let's say this. The understanding of your role in creating what you want. It's really about how you can attract what you really want and the power of the feminist attraction. So that was the theme yesterday. I invite you to watch that. That was a pretty rich, deep and educational teaching. And it went almost 30 minutes, which is one of my longer broadcasts. Usually they run 10, 15 minutes. <clears throat> but in that, I was talking about the idea that you can attract what you want, but you've got to be clear about what it is you really want first. So the Knight Shining Armor paradigm, this role of that, in that, well, let me just change it slightly. The right shining armor requires a damsel in distress. So if you're not a damsel in distress, then there's no way that the knight in shining armor can save you. That's why that paradigm doesn't work. And most women nowadays, thankfully, in some ways, are not damsels in distress. Although some women, just from my experience working with a lot of them, is, have been severely wounded by men that didn't treat them with respect. So your knight in shining armor might be a guy who shows up and is respectful to you, who opens the door for you, actually is willing to be a gentleman. Because the, frankly, for most women, if they meet a man, thank you, Anthony, I appreciate that. Very true. For most women out in the world nowadays, what they really want from a man is one a man who respects her, who listens to her, who treats her with dignity, who is willing to be there, not to necessarily defend her, but to stand by her side and support her in where she's going. And for some women, they don't recognize that that's the knight shining armor you really want. So the arrogant format where he's going to take, it, take you away from all this, which is truly what it is in some ways, is not saving you as much as it's using you for his purposes. That's kind of the bad boy in some ways. That's the tarnished armor, by the way. So the modern or the most direct way of putting this is, ladies, get clear about what you want. Yes, that was about all oh, yesterday. That again was a rich, deep conversation. Go back and look at number 410. That was yesterday's broadcast. But I want to highlight that your intentions for what you want in a relationship, and men can, want, can see from the point of view of what sort of things you want in a partnership with a woman as well. From both angles, you can see the truth of what it is that really um, lines up. Because for most of you out there, your intention, your vision, your um, dream of relationship is a fantasy, and it's not master. It is not actually manageable. Oh, someone, no, say this. I'll say it's not manifestable. That's too big a word. It's <laughs> it's not authentic and manageable to be created, to be real, and to, to be totally transparent here. That your ability to get clear about what you want starts with getting a real view of what you really want in your life. Ladies, let me ask you this. If you're watching this now or in replay. I'm watching how I say this so it comes out clean. <laughs> how much are you willing to give up for a man in your life? This is going to be an interesting thing to consider. So ladies, so take this in. Sip this question for a moment. <clears throat> what are you willing to give up to, to, for that man to be in your life? And actually for men who are watching this too, what are you willing to give up to have that woman in your life? Because the reality is, for most of us, we have gotten comfortable when we're single, and I'm saying us because I'm part of this too, where we have gotten certain routines in place that if we're in a relationship, we couldn't do anymore or wouldn't do anymore or would prefer something different. And that um, understanding, recognition, makes it easier to shift out of that place when you want to be in a relationship. And this is the thing. I've talked, about before, I've talked about this before, that really to be in a healthy relationship, you've got to fully own your space, own your stuff, own being your ownership. But relationship's not 50-50, it's 100-100. And there are certain things that you may have gotten used to doing, habit patterns, routines, um, tasks, hobbies even, 
that work great when you're single but may not fit when you're in a relationship. In fact, some of the things you do on your own is you're doing because you're not in a relationship. In which case, so giving those things up would be very easy because you can go, oh, that's great now, I'm in partnership, I can change that. But it helps to get clear about that too because relationship is an experience that will expand you beyond your comfort zone. I'll say the one again because it's a powerful point. A relationship that you enter into will expand you beyond your comfort zone. Most people aren't ready for that because most people, when they go on dates, are looking through a narrow lens of the possibility of what they want to create. So they're basically sorting and checking and seeing if the person fits what they want without all the stuff that's going to show up once they get together. Anybody who's been in a relationship knows this, and so if you're watching this, you probably do, that what happened in the relationship is 99% of the time not what you experience when you're on the date, and certainly not what you experience when you were looking for the relationship before. This is the devil in the details in a way. The clarity and understanding of what you want in a relationship is great, but knowing what you see on the date may not match what you're actually looking for, truly, and then what you've experienced in the relationship may be deeper than you saw when you had your list or your criteria you're looking for a relationship. So to bring this back to the beginning, so I want to make sure I do complete this, um, that knight in shining armor, isn't really what you want, but what the knight you really do want is one who actually is willing to get off his horse, take off his armor, because you want a man you can feel his heart, and will stand next to you, support you, and lead when it's appropriate to do so, and also follow when it's appropriate to do so. One of these things we're changing nowadays in the new paradigm is the masculine man who's really owning his power comes from a place of service. So the man that opens the door for you but also lets you go ahead of him is a man who knows how to be in his power. The man who's in his ego is much more driven by me first, I'm going first, I'm taking care of myself and you can catch up if you want. That's, in a way it's kind of the bad boy in some ways because the bad boy is usually self-centered, usually. There's different labels of this and I want to make sure I don't go into too much labeling but I want to get clear about this. So the night you really want, ladies, the night in shining armor, actually let's, 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 let's um, let's just wipe that away for a second. Let's start back. Let's go back to something more important than that, which is this, ladies. <laughs> and I'm using archetypal language here, but be the queen that you are and attract a king. Let's forget this night shining armor stuff. The night shining armor symbolically is very cool, but the reality is, when you own your magnificence, your power, your femininity, and your gifts as a woman and become the queen, not the princess, not the damsel in distress. Then you make room, well, you can make room, ideally you make room. You choose to become willing to stand next to, and have, to have stand next to you, a man who's in his king, who's owning his power, his authority, his monarchy as well. This is, this is elevated conversation, and this is something that I'm still looking at how that works for me too, to own that place. Because it's bigger than just showing up. Is bigger than just saving the day. It's how to live life. And personally, I feel that the power we carry in ourselves to be that authority, to be that leader, is something many of us have forgotten. And the Knight of Shining Armor, in a lot of ways, is in service to the king, in service to the queen, but plays at a lesser level. So, ladies, your homework. <laughs> jumping to homework already. It's really get clear about what it is you want in a relationship that is not just the, the, the night shining armor, it is the king that you really deserve and which requires you to open up to the qualities you bring as the queen. And for men watching this, reverse it, you understand. Get clear about what it is you bring, who you are as an authority in your own life. Become clear about who it is that you are as a leader in your own life. And become clear about what it is you will live up to in your own life to be seen as a king by the woman that you want to be as your queen and for the ladies I'm slipping back the other way <laughs> I'm just getting back and forth here as a queen it's not the queen that is waited on by hand and foot it's about the queen that lives from a place of authority it's almost like well no, I'm not going to compare with Game of Thrones that's going to get too clunky but the recognition is that the feminine <clears throat> Your feminine power in you as a queen 
would draw to her a man who's in his king beingness, for want of a better word. And that, for me, I think is the level of relationship that, one, that's what I'm drawing in personally, just to be transparent, but also I think is what everybody really wants. So, Knight Shining Armor, nice to have around for a bit. The king, the queen, that's what we play. That's the power, that's the magnificence. And for that, I invite you to look at what you really want and how to create that. Just sitting with that for a second. I think that will do for this. Again, if you didn't watch yesterday's broadcast number 411, please do. It was a deeper cut on the attraction and the wiring challenges that, that men and women face when we don't really get clear about what we want. And this hopefully gives you some clarity about what it is you want. So, homework. I'll give you homework. Is to start getting clear about that. What is for you those royal qualities? What are the qualities that you will use in your own life to take care of yourself, to honor yourself, to respect yourself and those around you. So not only to draw that to you, but to give it out as well. What are those qualities that you can share and offer that are from a place of that royalty, king or queen, depending on your preference and your gender. Owning that space, owning that place is where the true power comes from. So start now, do the homework, get clear about what that is and watch how your life transforms. Okay, so this broadcast, by the way, is number 411, as I mentioned. It is live on Facebook first, because it does go down a path after that. The replay then goes onto my business page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby, the author. After that, it goes to my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby. The playlist is Messages of the Masculine. And at some point down the road after that, which I'm still getting to catch up on, is it also goes onto my podcast on iTunes, which is Messages from the Masculine. So you can watch them, listen to them, track them down, and find out more on my broadcasts. Again, this is 411. That means there's 410 plus this one. Plenty to watch, plenty to learn from, or listen to if you're on podcast. Um, if you're stuck in this area and you want some help, if you want clarity about your next steps, if you're single and you don't know where to go and you're really feeling heartbroken and not sure how to trust again, I have a gift for you. My time to support you for 30 minutes to get some clarity and guidance and see if maybe you want to work together but certainly give you some steps so we can step forward into your life. One-on-one -on -one conversation, go to my website, which is barryselby.com. On the left-hand side of the menu, check and click on Let's Chat and sign up. Grab yourself and do yourself the favor of a 30-minute conversation with me, and we can talk. My gift to you. You've got your homework, you know where to find me, and you know where the replays are. I think that's about it. With that, I wish you a pleasant evening. I'll see you again tomorrow for another topical conversation. And uh, as always, take care of yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow.